what fun we have lined up for you today. Actually, it kind of is fun because something we've known, you know, that any intelligent person understood that Joe Biden knew what his son was up to, helped his son in Ukraine, completely denies it, of course. Now we have, uh, I'd call it proof positive that he's a, a bald-faced liar. He said he never met with any of uh, the Burisma people. Huh. Yeah, he had nothing to do with nothing to do Hunter with and Burisma. Yeah, didn't know anything about it, didn't talk to him. I, I think he claimed at one point he didn't even talk to him about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, why would you talk to your son about his business? You wouldn't. You just wouldn't do that. Who's, who's, who's ever done that? And then right after that, the photo of him playing golf. <laughs> With uh, his son and uh, an official uh, came out. <clears throat> yeah, but we didn't talk business. No, we were, we were hacking no. the links, man. I didn't know. I, I didn't even know who the guy was or what he did. Uh, so, well, uh, they put a lid on their on the press yesterday. Oh, <laughs> did they? Before eight o'clock in the morning. So yeah, you know what? We're just gonna take the day off. Uh, it's only we still have three weeks before the election. We. We don't need to get out and campaign today. <laughs> oh, okay. Not even in the home <clears throat> stretch yet. So uh, now we've got an email that links him up with uh, with Burisma and shows that he lied about meeting with an executive from Burisma in 2015. New York Post reported uh, about this smoking gun. It's an email that appeared to show that Hunter Biden brokered a meeting in April 2015, between his dad and Burisma's number three exec, uh, Badim Vadim uh, Pozarski. Uh, Biden has repeatedly denied it and uh, never never talked to his son about his overseas business dealings. Never, I don't think he even knew his son was in the Ukraine. He may not Wait, even what? be aware that he has a son. Right. At this point. Hunter. No, I, I mean, I've hunted before, but I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't know any Hunter. That's a weird name, mm. first of all. I don't, I don't know anybody like that. Mm. So anyway, here's the uh, email that was sent by uh, Pazarski to Hunter Biden. Dear Hunter, thank you for inviting me to D.C. and giving an opportunity to meet your father <laughs> and spent some time together. Yeah, keep in mind, the guy's from Ukraine. You might have autocorrect him. It's realty. It's really an honor and pleasure. <laughs> okay, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I said autocorrect. Maybe you know. Yeah, maybe, sucks. maybe not. Maybe just doesn't know English that well. So he admitted that he met his he met his dad. He met with him. Mm-hmm. What's Biden going to say about this? Well, he won't say anything. I guess he'll he won't discuss it. He'll blame it on Trump. Ah, that's all. Trump campaign rhetoric. Yeah, well, I mean, a spokesperson already came out and said, "La, we checked Biden's schedule from the days in question. He was... Uh, this Where was he? They don't match up. Uh, <laughs> okay, Boy, sure. Boy, you got us. <laughs> yeah, all you right. You got us. Well, then, excuse us. Uh, sorry, we went down the wrong path And I that. love how these emails came to light. You know, uh, Hunter dropping off his computers to a computer shop and never coming back to get them. That is... Yeah, isn't that something? Fun stuff. I mean, the way this is happening, it's just... And could there be a better time for it? Well, yeah, maybe a little bit sooner than this, uh, but... Right. Well, Well, that's just it. Two years ago, this guy informed Rudy. I mean, poor Rudy has been hung out to dry during the last couple of years. He's been on with Glenn. He's tried to say everything he could say short of, we have the hard drives from Hunter. I don't know what has taken this long to to get them to the New York Post, but boy, Twitter, Facebook. uh, They did everything they could to shut down the information. Everything. Instagram. Everybody was blocking the the URLs from the New York Post. Post yesterday. Well, because sh- I mean, it's a New York Post. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, the National Enquirer, somebody you'd really respect I see. And, and admire. Just the New York Post. It's incredible, and it's incredible to watch Twitter do this time after time after time after time. Same with Facebook, and then they come out and say, "Oh yeah, that was a, that was a problem. We got what a mistake. They that shouldn't have happened. Really? Okay, now that you shut down everybody's effort to get the information out." 
and you calmed it down for 24 hours and you pushed it back a little bit during an election cycle here. Oh, now you've got a, oh, uh, yeah, I, I, we figured that out and it, it, it's fixed now. You can send it now. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. It's incredible oh, what it, they get away with. Well, and yeah. they're, because of their immunity, they get away with it. Because they're a platform and not a publisher, they get away with being biased. Uh, because they're not going to be, actually, they shouldn't get away with their bias because in order to be the platform instead of the publisher, you've got to be unbiased in in your effort. Now, if you want to be biased, then that's fine, but you're not going to be immune from prosecution if something goes wrong on your platform. All right, so there's, yeah, there, there's James O'Keefe uh, trying to post on Instagram last night and constantly getting blocked, you know. Uh, so Instagram did it too. Instagram, yeah, yeah, Twitter, yeah. Facebook. Or what I call left tech now. Uh, so I mean, they, they did that to him on his story. Okay. It, it, might be, it might be understandable if this came from QAnon or some unreliable source, some kind of shady group. This is from the New York Post. Yeah. yeah and and all, wow. all day, all night this was happening. It happened to yours truly. Um, but of course, when you log on to Twitter, like the first headline, I don't know, I posted this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, it, it says in politics, it says Joe Biden did not push out a Ukrainian prosecutor for investigation. Uh, it, 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 it is a complete big tech um, uh, censoring job last night in the middle of a campaign mm. se- season. Mm-hmm. Uh, people like James Woods were being blocked from posting. Uh, Kaylee McEnany was being blocked. They, they had their accounts locked. I love the excuse they used on uh, Kaylee McEnany where it said, look, we can't be putting uh, people's private uh, communications out there that, that were obtained through hacking, means of hacking or whatever. I mean, it's it's a news article, man. It's a news article. But yeah, you're right. Uh, Jack did have to come out later and admit. Uh, Oops. Yeah, we suck. Oops. Again. Oops. Look at that. So he's been threatened by uh, senators, by congressmen. Several of them come out and said, "Look, we need to we need to go after him on this immunity thing. They need to be not immune because they're not unbiased," which was the agreement. So uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, they've been getting away with this for a really long time, and it would surprise me if if they finally got taken to task. But I like it because, like I said, you know, it it would have just flown under the radar. Yep. Until they made That's a bigger true. deal about it, trying to hide it from That us. is true. <laughs> so, yeah, as we mentioned, I think briefly, it came from a laptop computer that was drop, dropped off <laughs> at a computer repair store last <laughs> April in Biden's home state of Delaware. The person who brought the laptop into the store never paid for service and never retrieved the device. Hunter's a winner, man. Federal law enforcement officials reportedly seized the laptop in December, so they've had it for a year almost, after the store owner alerted them to it, but not before the store owner made a copy of the hard drive. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a Trump supporter, by the way, the computer shop owner. Fantastic. <laughs> the never-before-revealed meeting is mentioned in a message of appreciation uh, from the Ukrainian uh, and advisor to the board of Burisma. <sighs> About a year after Hunter joined the Burisma board at a salary of around $50,000 a month. I've heard so many different figures on that. I've heard $85,000 a month. I've heard $30,000. I've heard fifty. dollars I don't know if anybody knows exactly what he made. Dear Hunter, thank you for inviting me to D.C. and giving me an opportunity to meet your father. What? Wait, no, Hmm. honey. And spend some time together. Boy, it would have been nice to have Hmm. that uh, debate scheduled for tonight, huh? Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Ah! But that's an opportunity lost. But you can't. I mean, I understand that Trump didn't want him to have notes and help, and and he would have, and he would have if it was a virtual debate. Oh, when's he gonna? Is he doing the NBC thing tonight? Because the left is yeah, it's a town just, hall thing. Oh, they're so angry at NBC for giving a platform, you know, to the president of the United States. They're yeah. So- the, Out of control. They're eating their own again. I love it. So out of control. Uh, (laughs) I like the label, Quid Pro Joe. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That's great. So let's see, though. Is Yeah, so so are they having dueling 
town halls tonight? Yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> okay. So that so, should be fun, too. So where is... Okay, so if Trump's going to be on NBC, Biden's going to be on ABC, you think this comes hmm. up at all? Uh, on ABC for Biden? Good question. I mean, they have to. they have to ask him, right? It's just too prevalent. It's too known. There's too much attention now. They've got to ask him about it, I would think. So I would say yes. If you are a voter who is still deciding between Biden and Trump... First of all, get your head checked. Second mm-hmm. of all, uh, which one of these do you watch tonight? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, obviously, I know times are fancy, and you got tools that allow you to watch both. Yeah, but uh, you can't listen to both, really. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess you could. No, you go back afterward. Yeah, you go to YouTube yes. or, or your. You I'm gonna know. watch. I'm gonna watch the president. I can't. I can't handle watching Biden's lies. Okay, it's so you're going to watch much. Trump, and I'm going to watch baseball. No, okay. Okay. Hmm. I'll try to keep an eye on Biden, because hmm. I want to see if this comes up. Well, I'm sure Twitter will inform me if it comes up. I'm sure they will. <laughs> sure. Uh, so, Sarab Amari, who was trying to post this information yesterday, said, this is a big tech information coup. This is digital civil, civil war. Mm-hmm. I... An editor at the New York Post, one of the nation's largest papers by circulation, can't post one of our own articles, one of our own stories that details corruption by a major party presidential candidate, Joe Biden. Crazy. That is just absolutely nuts that that's a reality. But you know what? We don't deserve to know. We don't deserve to know about Ukraine. That's right. (laughs) We don't deserve to know about his... Packed court plans. We don't deserve to know any of that. I mean, look, it would be a different story if he were running to be president of the United States. Right. Yeah, that'd be f- yes, then it would be important for sure. us to know. Then you'd want to know. I mean, you're acting like we can use that information to base our decision on some of the information we compile. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just silly, isn't it? It's silly. <laughs> it's 